Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, I'm Nihan. Today I'm going to show you how I use my iPad Pro 2020 version for my online classes and online education. I hope you'll enjoy the video. So the first app I'm going to show you is the Reminders app. You can find this app directly on your iPad, your iPhone or the Apple device you're using. You can take any notes you want, especially like if you have a homework, a meeting like I have in the next few days or a Zoom meeting, it can be one of them. You can take notes and if you enter the properties of the notes, you can set it at a time as I can see, as you can see. You can set a time, you can set a date and at a location and of course even when you're texting someone you can remind yourself for it. It's really nice for reminding and writing to-do lists. The second app I'm going to show you is the Khan Academy. This app is for the education videos and their questions with their quizzes and some PDFs inside of it for you to study. So it has more than one or two subjects. As you can see inside of math, we have a lot of different ones. This is for kids and of course, middle schoolers and high schoolers. Um, we have different apps for it. It has a website and you can study the videos. You can see your process through it. And you, you have many, many, lots of questions inside of it that you can study. I really recommend this app for every age, for everyone. Because if you are bad at something, studying makes it better. And this app is just the perfect one for it. The next app is Yandex Translate. Even if it has a lot of different variations, this one has been my always the favorite one because it's really usable and at the same time fast. And I really like it. There's a stereotype that people say about Windows and iOS differences. One of the biggest thing is about Office programs. So if you want to do a presentation, just go do it on your computer, they say, because the iPad doesn't have it, but actually that's wrong. If you just downloaded the PowerPoint and Excel, as you can see from App Store, you can directly use it for anything you want just as the same as your Windows computer would do it. So for online lessons, online projects, and anything you want to do, it is really easy for you to do it. This app is Google Drive, and of course, probably all of you know this app. I use this app especially for my online education part to get the PDFs from my lessons and at the same time send the homeworks I did to my teachers and get the links from it. This note taking app is called Good Notes 5. You can directly find it on your app store. It is about $10 and I absolutely recommend it. This is the best app I've used since I started using this iPad and it's the best. You can see th these are my trigonometry notes and I take them every day when I'm studying and it's really easy for me to do them. Because it has a lot of tools inside of it, it's really easy for me to just draw the perfect circle, the perfect triangle and of course the perfect line. As you can see, because of the palm rejection thing inside of it, whenever I'm touching the screen with my fingers, it doesn't write anything down, but with the pencil it writes. So whenever I'm taking a note, I don't have to worry about if my hand is touching the screen, if it's getting messy or not. So I'm just using it directly as if it is a notebook and it is a pencil and I'm writing on my real-time notebook, not my iPad. It is really nice to write it on the iPad if you get used to it and you don't even have to worry about the ink at all because it's the electricity. Here's an example of me taking notes for a trigonometry lesson. It's really nice and useful.
The next thing I want to show you within this app is to solve questions. So if you have the PDF of the book, especially when your teacher send you a homework or you're just studying on your own, such as here is me studying SAT English passage one. So you can directly take notes, highlight them, check your answers and go back and check it again sometime. You don't have to print anything out and it's really useful and easy. Here's another thing I like about Apple Pencil Adot. So it is a double click setting. When I double click, it switches from the last tool I use to the tool I'm using right now and it changes. So if I'm using the pencil and the last tool I use is an eraser, when I double click, it switches to pencil. When I double click, it switches to eraser. So it's really easy and fast way to take notes. You can change the setting from the settings part of your iPad. Just go to the Apple Pencil part and you can open the color palette and the current tool and eraser or you can just turn it off. I really like this one. And here is one of the best things for an online student on this iPad the multitask bar. So if I'm inside of a Zoom meeting or a class, right now I don't have, of course, but I can directly scroll down to my notes and use my notes while I'm listening the lesson. So if the teacher is saying something important, I can take notes, important parts, or just reminders to myself so that after the lesson, I can go back Let's just read my list and see the notes I took. I really like this one. Here's another version of multitask bars. So here is the split screen version. Um, when I'm inside of good notes and I'm just solving some bunch of questions and I want to check the answers, I don't have to go back to just like 200 pages and then check the answers, memorize them, go back. I can just directly split screen and check the notes, check my, you know, questions while I also see the answers. By the way, this was just for to show. I, d I just directly... Uh, circled them so it, they're not actually wrong or right. The last app I'm going to show you is the Apple Music Premium. So I've been using this app for four to five months on my phone and it's really nice, especially if you're a student like me, we always listen to some music and a lo-fi beats playlist or just a study playlist would maybe the best way for you to study. So yeah, I hope you all liked the video. Please don't forget to subscribe and if you have any questions, just write the comments down below. Thank you.